guys, so this is Olivia, and we're going to go over the balance eye drape. Um, maybe you have more than just the balance, but this is the one we're going to be focusing on. And you should have gotten this with the colors in it, and then these two sheets of paper. So um, this one's like a general overview of what we're going to be doing, um, just about the drape experience, being patient, not having judgment. And then this one is the uh, specific instructions. So you're going to want Q-tips, the actual colors, and um, white paper, and then brushes for your eyeshadow and primer. We're not going to go over application. That will be a different video. But we are going to walk through just in general how to do it and like what to look for when you're doing your colors. Um, so keep this with you. And the first thing that we're going to do is lay out the colors. Uh, and when we're doing that, we're going to keep it in order of this list. It's really easy to get confused. I did when I was doing it. So just make sure that you have that with you and that you went in the right order so you remember which colors you did and, and how it was laid out. Okay, so let's go through the walkthrough of like how to tell if the color is right for you and how to let go of colors that may look pretty but aren't right for you. Okay, so this is the lineup of everything that we did. And um, I started with Ubiquitous and into, end it with a banter all the way over here. Um, and I didn't quite make it uh, all the way down my arm, but that's fine because we actually do want some space in between these. Like you need to give them a little bit of breathing room. And also when we're swatching, make sure that you have some of the skin kind of breathing through a little. Um, so I know our stuff is really pigmented, so it's easy to get like really thick swatches, but just make sure that you've got some area of it to where you have some skin kind of showing through. So I'm going to take this and start with the most colorful one. So it's not really necessarily in the order that I put it on, but in an order that I'll know. Um, so starting with persuasive over here. And to me, this color looks really close, although this one does look, I don't know, in certain lights it looks a little bit more green. But when I'm looking at my skin, it kind of looks a little sickly around it. And that's why we need to know um, what the area around the skin looks like too. So um, another thing about it is it just doesn't have any statement and it's just kind of meh on the skin. Uh, so you can't even really see the color super well. So I know this is probably not going to be my best color. Um, and then I'm kind of looking at this one too. So it has tint right here. And uh, this one, it's so much more green in here. And this one has more of that pretty blue green look to it in the shimmer. Um, so this one I know is not going to be right for me. So, and the reason why I'm looking at those two, because if I look at this deep one, it's really hard to tell. Um, I can't necessarily tell if that looks good or not. I do know this looks pretty black, whereas this one does have like a little bit more of that blue green color and this one looks really warm. So I'm thinking that's not right, but again, it's really difficult to, say, to see. That's why I'm starting here. And then when I look here, I can see right off the bat that this looks more like um, that pretty blue green. And then this one just kind of looks flat and it's actually, actually looks kind of more blue, which is interesting because these kind of look more green. So um, just, just looking for those really, like being really brutal. We don't want to be nice to these colors. This is not the time to be nice. Um, okay, so then I'm going to go move to this one. So looking here, and that one looks pretty close, except for this looks pretty, a lot more green, actually. Now the more, the more I look at it, the more green it looks, whereas this one has that really pretty blueness to it. So I'm going to try the one next to it that's more colorful. And I'm seeing the same thing. This one looks more green and this looks more, like it has more of that pretty blue in it. So let's go here. Um, I'm going in this one right here. And yeah, again, it looks more green and it also just looks blacker. So you're not even seeing really the pretty color on it. And then again, so remember these are the hardest ones to choose. 
Like this one, I can't really tell. Like, uh, it kind of looks pretty close. So I can kind of put this one aside. That's what I thought. Because I'm not really sure. This one does look, again, it actually kind of looks a little bit more blue on here than it does in here, which is unusual because for these, they're so green. So anyway, I'm going to move over to this next space. So um, I'm going to start with this one because it's really bright. And that one, that one looks really pretty much exactly the same as the color. Um, and I, I kind of move in the light just to see the different ways that it reflects uh, along with the bag. Uh, and I'm not really seeing any difference there. So that's, I mean, to me, that's a winner. Um, that's not even a maybe. So I'm gonna put this one aside as yay, a yay color. Um, and then I'm going to try the one next to it, which is this one. And again, it looks exactly the same. Like if you like, even if you blur your eyes a little and you see no difference there, that's what you're looking for. Um, and I kind of blend it down a little bit and it still looks like that. It's got the same properties when I move it in the light as that. So then I know if I'm looking at this, code of something online that it's going to look true to form on me as well. Okay, so then I'm going to go to this deeper one and kind of blend this one down a lot. But again, it's it's got the same, those same kind of principles. This one is more on the green side in general um, than the other one. I don't, I think that's in the same zone, but I'm not sure. But, um, but regardless, it's one to one there, so I don't really care where it is zone wise, as long as it's looking the same. And then I'm looking at this one, and that one looks like really similar on my arm, but again, with these light ones, it's really hard to say. But when I'm moving it in the light, yeah, it's looking really similar there. Um, so I'm gonna say this is a probable, like a definite probable. And keep in mind, like in different spaces, I could be different ones of these. Um, so that's why it's important to check each and every one and to put them all on your arm, even though it can be a little tedious. So this one looks really close too, actually. Um, I'm not seeing a huge difference there. Uh, so I'm going to also put this as a yes or like an okay. And then this one, okay, now this one's a little different. So where's that deep one looked really similar? On here, this looks a little more green and on here, it looks a little more blue. So I, I guess that one's a little too warm or something. It's, it's changing on me, so I don't like it. Um, this one... That one again looks really similar. I mean, I'm being really brutal here. Like I said, we're not trying to be nice. So this one looks slightly more green, but it's so close. Like it's, it's, it's really hard to tell. I mean, I'm sure Darren would be able to tell and she'd say, oh, that's so obvious. But to me, it's really close. Um, so I'd say like maybe, it's probably not my best, but it might be a good, like, good direction, um, which is always good to have a little litmus there. And this one's so subtle on me, so it's really hard to say, but just the fact that it is so subtle. So in these light ones, these are going to be the ones that I'm going to want to test um, to kind of see which one does look the best on me um, because I'm not sure. So this way I did... I kind of went ahead and did it because you have to give it some time to dry. But I would dip to my Q-tip in the water and swatched it um, and then put these on here. So this is this one right here. And you can see that this one, again, this one looks a little more green on the sheet, but it looks really close to that. Um, they're both really subtle. And actually, when I move this in the light, um, does that kind of show up? Yeah, you can see that they they have very similar effects there. Um, 
So then this one is this swatch here. And actually, when I'm looking at this one, this one looks more green, way more green on here than it does on my skin. So um, that is something kind of curious. So, I mean, and then this one right here, you can kind of see right there that this one has more of the blue and it's going more green on here. So really what I'm looking for um, is actually, it's just this, this one that's gonna be different. So really my lineup will be um, the following. Actually what my lineup ended up being is in the lights, um, I got a B11 and I actually got a B31. Uh, so this is, that if, if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's either um, on this little link here or it's on here. Um, but ubiquitous is one, and he's the B11, and then funkadelic is the um, B31, and that's more of that medium one. And then habitual is like on that little border D, and he's also a B31, and then classical is a B31. So. I pretty much am all in B31, and then I have B11 as my um, light one. But just because I'm B11 in that one, that probably means that in B31, I can have that as my secondary one. So maybe that's not the one I want to wear like as this like dress color that I've got on. Oh, that's really funny. I think. But like, uh, I think I'm wearing this color, but um, I mean, I have my shopping swatches, which I'll sh actually I'll show you those. So this, this shopping swatches look like that. So you can see we have them for every color. Um, and there's another box of this too. And we also have them for like every zone of that color. And on the back, it's got the cone. So I don't really look at that because when I'm shopping, I'm really just kind of putting it against the clothes and just going really fast. And that's what they're for. So um, if you follow that, if you haven't done the whole thing or if you want to do the whole thing, what you can do is on the bottom of them, or even if you don't want to do the whole thing all at once, you can order it a la carte. Um, but we have this link right here and you can follow that. And if you have the whole thing and you do 36 swatches, you get a complimentary video um, how much are we like help you pick out the swatches? But you know, keep in mind, like the swatches, there's so many other colors in that zone. So these four colors are not the only ones that I can wear. Um, I can put in, click on the code online from that link, and it'll go to all different kinds of ones that will work and look good on me. And this is the point where after you've done all this, you get to have fun and put it on your eye. Um, so I would kind of start with like these light colors as all the over colors, whatever that is. I'm pale, so this is my light color. Um, and then use like some of these deeper ones in the crease, on like in the corners, um, minor colors. Just have fun with it. Like that's what it's for. You might want to make sure that your face is kind of bare except for your eyes when you're doing this because it might get um, a little tragic down below when you're just playing with these, because uh, I mean, they're baggy, so they're not like our um, actual eyeshadow containers. But um, that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions or you're like having trouble with things, uh, we're really good at like just talking to people either online or even over the phone and walking through the process. The key is to be brutal, to not fall in love with colors. Because even if you're like, oh, I love um, superstitious, you know? Like, there is your version of this somewhere out there. You're not stuck in that box. So, um, yeah, just let us know if you need help, and we'll help you find your color and your whole spectrum.